Okay, so what we're going to do this time is we're going to start looking at um, making like a custom texture. Um, so I've provided you with a couple of images, um, these two, um, and you'll notice that these are PNG images. Okay, so they're PNG because they have transparency behind them. You can see I'm in Photoshop now uh, and they've got this checkerboard pattern behind them. That means that's transparent. Okay, and you have to save it as a PNG if you want it to store that transparency. If you save it as a JPEG or something, then it's not going to work. This will just come in as just white. All right, so it must be a PNG if you have transparency. Um, so we're going to kind of combine these together uh, with some other stuff to make a texture for like a, a kind of a you know nuclear waste barrel kind of thing. It's the project we're going to go for. So um, before we start making that texture though, I'm going to come over to 3ds Max and we're just going to put together uh, the model for our little scene. Okay, um, I want to have like a floor, some walls and then the barrels so it looks like a proper scene that we've created. So I'm going to start with just creating a ground plane. Uh, center that to the world. Um, just going to make that like 200 by 200. It's fine. I'm going to push G to hide the grid. Um, don't need any segments. Let's make sure we've got edge faces turned on. And then convert it to an editable poly. What I'm just going to do is do a connection that way. Pull that right to that edge. Do another connection that way. Pull that over to that edge. And then I can get these two polygons here and just extrude those upwards. And that will be like the walls. Okay, so we don't need all four corners because when we set up our camera, it will kind of be like this. So you won't see anything else. It will, that's all we need. Um, and then I need to create the actual barrel itself. So I'm going to do that from a cylinder. Um, kind of that looks about right, doesn't it? For a barrel size. Um, maybe a little bit higher. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, sorry. Oop. Let's get rid of those segments. Okay, don't need those. And I'm going to make it a bit smoother. I'm going to turn up the sides to about 32. Okay, that'll be fine. Convert that to an editable poly. Just going to add in some minor details. So I'm going to go to edge. If you marquee select all of those, it will select all of the edges. I'm going to do a connection, but I'm going to get the dialog box up because I want two connections. See, I've got two there now. And this slider, can you see it will evenly slide those up and down? So it's even on the top and the bottom. Push tick because I just want kind of a I select all of those. Remember, if you hold down shift and move over to the polygon next to that, it will do the whole ring. Extrude those out a bit. Remember, if you first start extruding and it goes off to one side, just change this to local normal. Um, something like that will be fine. Okay. Um, I also want to go to the edge here again. Go to connect. Reset that to zero. Um, it's probably if I make that a different colour, it might be easier to see the lines. There they are. And then I'm just going to put some detail in just there because that's where I want my icon to be. And the top of the barrel, what I'm going to do is just inset in very slightly and extrude downwards. It's going to be an open barrel. Um, and this surface will make the kind of um, sort of toxic kind of waste stuff that looks like it's in there. All right, so that looks fine. So I've made a barrel. I've made my little walls and floor. So I'm ready to add in a texture. I'm going to come back to Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, New. So create a new document for my texture. 
and I'm going to make this one a thousand by a thousand pixels. Okay, so on pixels, a thousand by a thousand. Okay, push create, and here's my texture ready to go. Make sure you just double, uh, just single click the lock there to unlock the background. Um, and the background, I've already got a color set up here. Um, I'm going to have it this kind of yellow color for the main color of the barrel. Okay, and like I said, I've got my uh, two PNG images open already. So what I can do is just, uh, with this move tool, just drag this over, come up here, keep the, the selection held down. I haven't let go yet, and then you can drop it into this one. Okay, now for this, for this, for the whole barrel, that's going to be too big. So I'm going to go Control T and scale that down a bit. Should snap to the middle. See, push Enter. So bear in mind that's the top of the barrel, that's the bottom of the barrel. So if I want it to line up so that icon's in the middle there, that looks about right. Okay, I'm going to bring up over this rusty kind of texture here, bring it into here again. And I'm going to have one of those at the top, and I'm going to right click and duplicate that layer. So now I've got two. Control T again. And if you go right into the corner, the icon for rotating it comes up, and I can spin that 180 degrees. Move that right down to the bottom and push enter. Okay, so I've got, you know, it's going to look a bit more rusty and not like brand new like it probably would do. But I think this is kind of, and I want to tone that down a bit, the rust. It's a bit harsh, it doesn't blend in too well. So just a quick way of doing that. I'm just going to turn down the opacity very slightly to about 90%. Um, that's fine. So on top of that, you know, if you want to add some text to it, just add yourself a new layer in there, get the text tool, um, and you can start writing something. My text is super tiny, so. Whatever you wanted it to say, you can change the color of that. Um, you know, I'll let you kind of uh, do your own thing with that. You can customize it however you want. It's going to delete that layer, but again, um, it's your texture, so add anything on that you want to there. So that's fine for me now. So what I'm going to do is go File, uh, Save As. It's going to save mine to um, the my desktop. I save it as a JPEG this time because there's no actual transparency needed to be saved here anymore. There's no, tra there's no checkerboard in my image. Um, just call it uh, barrel and a JPEG. Save. Okay, and then I'm going to come over to 3ds Max again. I'm going to open up my material editor. Oh, here's the ones I made earlier. Let's just delete those. <coughs> um, bring in a standard material. As we've done before, add the diffuse color as a bitmap. Find my, as the test I did before again, find my barrel texture I just saved, open that up. Okay, and then if I just move that to the side so I can select my barrel, come up here to apply the texture, and then just click this little icon there to make it visible in the viewport. Okay, so we've got it, but there's some issues. It's not perfect. I mean, look how stretched that is, um, which isn't what we want. So this is where we can now go into our material. So I can double click it here and start changing some of these parameters to make this the way we want it. So in the diffuse channel you can see there's an M there that's where my material is so I'm going to click it and then that gives us access to these tiling options and you see if I crank this up you'll see that it kind of squishes it back together nicely so I want to turn that up a bit um, 
1.6 is about fine. What, we, what you want to be careful is it's not um, coming back around the back again. So if I turn that up loads, you see it comes around there again, which I don't want. So about 1.6 is fine. Okay, that's great. And then you might want to offset it, which you can do there, or up and down as well, but that's going to screw things up with that rust texture. So that's absolutely fine. So that's how you can change these uh, these number values to affect the position of your texture on the object. Okay, so that's great. Um, but what I can see is it's all screwing up in here. So what I need to do is add on the UVW map, which is here. Uh, obviously, planar is going to make it all weird. So we want that to be a cylindrical, isn't it? So we can select that. Notice that we still have a big issue here. Now, if I wanted a texture on the top there, I would have to do things differently. Um, but what I actually want to do is make that the liquid that's inside. So I'm going to go back to my material editor, make a second material, double click it to access these settings. And I'm just going to change the diffuse color of it to this kind of bright green color. And then I want to go to the polygon and select that top polygon there and apply that material just to that polygon. Okay, and there you can see um, the rust kind of comes down onto the inside, which is great. And then we've got the green texture for the for the inside of it. Cool. Um, what I'm going to do now is just add in some lights, just our standard lighting system. So a skylight, chuck that in there. Just make sure it's up in the air like that. Turn on the shadows, grab ourselves an Omni light, put that up there somewhere, and then turn on the shadows for that. Let's turn off our edged faces, and let's put it on high quality and see how things are looking. So let the shadows settle in. Cool, okay, so the barrel looks, looks fine. Um, the custom texture is working. Um, I want to add a bit of detailing in around there and I want to brighten up that green stuff a bit. So edge face is back on, back to standard. I'm going to go to edge here. So remember these edges that we added in? I'm going to select all of those. Remember, hold control to add to your selection. Hold down shift and move over to the next one and you'll see it selecting the, the whole ring. I do it correctly. There we go. Then I'm going to just sham for those. Okay, which will give us two edges next to each other. Just don't want to sham for it too much. That's fine. Go to polygon, select those, select all those, and do another little extrusion. Uh, outwards just to add a little bit, bit of extra detailing in there. Okay, great. Now I want to create the texture for the floor and the walls. Now this is kind of a personal preference for you. I've selected a couple of materials already. Um, so if I go to standard and new material, diffuse, bitmap. <coughs> I saved them on my desktop so I've got this kind of a asphalt texture um where's the color one there it is the color for the floor so select my polygon of the floor and apply make sure it's selected apply that material to it make sure we can see it so there's my floor Drag in another texture for the walls, diffuse, bitmap, and then there's my wall texture. Very nice. So I select my two walls, apply that one, make sure we can see it in the viewport. Okay, and then obviously that's going to go all funny again. So again, 
for our model here, UVW map needs to be applied, and this is going to be a bit more box like, so we'll change that to box. Okay, there we go. So let's make it back high quality again, turn off our edge faces, zoom in nicely here, let the shadows come in, and it's looking okay. Make sure we can see that green stuff. There we go. Now I did say I wanted to brighten that green stuff up a bit, didn't I? So you see it's kind of dull here at the moment. Let's go to my materials again. Go to my green one. Let's double click it. What I can add on is this color, self illumination color. It kind of makes it a bit brighter. Um, make it nice and green again. And also turn up this shininess, although it's flat, so you probably won't really see much there, but I'm going to add that anyway. And then when we let that settle again, you can see already how much brighter that green stuff is there. It's looking good. Okay, so, you know, you can add, add multiple barrels if you want to. Up to you, set up your scene how you want it to look. You could have one, well, I guess be careful having one on its side because if it's open, it would technically be spilling out. Um, and also with my materials as well, with my uh, walls, I want to add on the bump to make sure it's not so flat. So my wall uh, might be the roughness. Add that in there and the displacement uh, add that in there um, probably the same for my floor here's my floor add in the bump which is if i can find it there and the displacement if I can find that one, is there. Okay, so let's see how that looks now. Okay, you can see there's a bit more texture now to, to those walls. I just want to check the, level, the value of it. So go to my wall again. And remember, if you go to this map section, you can see the values of the the effect of the texture. So bumps on 30, if I turn that up to like 100, is that going to be too much? I think that looks okay. Again, so you can play around with that kind of stuff. The, the lighting can be a bit brighter. So if I go to my Omni light, you go to intensity and color, you can turn up the um, the strength of that light. So I could turn up to a two, and it'll be much brighter. I can even change the color of it. So I can make that light a bit kind of green. How does that look? There we go. It kind of changes the, uh, the atmosphere of the scene. So that, you know, looks pretty good, really. Okay, so that's everything so mainly this has been about um, creating the custom texture um, and how you can then apply that uh, and change sort of the position of it on on the model uh, but also a recap on how to build textures up adding the bump maps um, and all sorts of stuff like that okay so hopefully that helps you um, with creating your own scenes okay and that's all for now